In this tutorial we learn how to access a Match ID data set using a Python script. Before we can start using Match ID data, we need to add Match ID's library to the script. The library is stored in the App Store's installation folder and is called libapp. Adding the library is a two-step process. First, we add the App Store's installation folder to the system. Next, we add a reference to the libapp library. Once the reference is added, we can import the library and its related classes. Having the needed libraries loaded in the system, we can start accessing the data. To do so, simply create a variable, in my case called dataset, that stores the result of the match ID data function. To illustrate we have successfully loaded the dataset in our Python script, we will try to access the property of the dataset. Let us use the dataset name. This should return us a string representation of the dataset's name. We create a variable called visual name that will hold the data set name of the loaded data set. As an output of this script we can show the name in the console window with the function print. Before we can launch the script, we need to make a data set available for external scripting. To do so, go to the match ID package and hit export for external script under post processing developer tools. If multiple data sets exist, you will be asked what data set to export. Now the data is available, we can run the script and check the console for the output. Once the script is completed, we can confirm that the data set loaded in Python has the same name as the set available in Match ID, and so we have access to our Match ID data set using Python. Now we can access the data, we can try to process some values in this script. Retrieving a value from the data set is simple. We define a variable point value that will hold the result of the getValue function. As seen from the documentation, this function needs three arguments location, time and variable. The location is an integer value defined by the data points index in the set. This value will range between 0 and the property number of data points. The time index is also an integer value and will range between 0 and the property number of time steps. Finally, the variable, again an integer defines the index of the variable that can be found using the function getVariableIndex. In this tutorial, we will write a script that defines the average of the horizontal displacement for each time step. The first step is to find the index of the variable horizontal displacement. Therefore, we will call the function getVariableIndex and store the result in index variable. As argument we use the string u, as this is the unique identifier, called tag for the horizontal displacement. A list of available tags can be found in the documentation. As the average will be calculated, we also need the range of data points and time steps. With these values, we start writing a loop that ranges a time index from 0 to i number of time steps. For each time step, we define the summation of the variable and count the values so we can define the average afterwards. Now loop the point index from 0 to i number of data points so we can add its value to the summation. Within this loop, we can get the value in index point, at index time, for index variable. If this value is a valid number, we can add it to the summation and increase the count. When all the points are used, we can calculate the average. Of course, we can only define the average if we have at least one valid data point. So if the number of values is greater than 0, the average equals summation divided by number of values and we can provide the result as an output using the print function. If there were no values, we simply show not a number for this time step. Before we launching the script, please make a data set available for external scripting. Once the set is available, the script can be launched and results verified. Looking at the console for the output of the script, we see that average for the horizontal displacement calculated by Python is in line with the average show in the Match ID results screen. 